Et rebonjour à tous et bienvenue sur ma chaîne Twitch, vous êtes à nouveau avec Kenza et nous sommes toujours sur Cyberpunk 2077. Donc pour ceux qui étaient là il y a quelques minutes, je viens de faire une première fin du jeu, après donc en gros une partie qui a pris environ, pop, 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 que je dise pas de bêtises, 73h30. Donc c'est quand même pas neutre, euh, je trouve que c'était quand même une très bonne durée de vie, j'ai beaucoup apprécié comme j'ai dit la fin du jeu. Mais bon, euh, l'idée n'est pas de redire ce que j'ai déjà dit. Ici, donc, cette vidéo va avoir pour but donc, de recharger la sauvegarde avant le choix final. Donc, en gros, de se décider à prendre soit le choix de retourner à intégrer son cœur euh, et de vivre la vie qui nous reste avec euh, tout ce qui s'ensuit. Euh, C'est un premier choix. Et le deuxième choix était de laisser son corps à Johnny. Et dans les faits, donc, de partir du côté euh, fin numérique où on deviendra une entité dans le, sur le web. Donc là, l'idée va être donc de voir ce que fait ce second choix et donc de voir une seconde fin. Dans la première vidéo, j'ai laissé le générique en entier parce que c'est une tradition pour moi, euh, quand je finis un jeu, le jeu de 1, de laisser le générique en entier, par respect pour les gens qui ont produit l'œuvre. Euh, et donc voilà, l'idée en gros est de leur rendre hommage, c'est un peu le but d'un générique quelque part. Ici forcément je couperai probablement le générique puisque le but ici n'est pas de revoir ce qu'on a déjà vu mais bien de voir uniquement une nouvelle fin. Donc sans plus attendre, bah, je la charge et on va voir un peu ce que ça raconte. Donc nous revoilà comme tout à l'heure devant les chats qui font un peu les offices des, des voleurs d'âmes, des espèces de... Enfin, qui, la, la référence a été faite par le personnage japonais à un moment qui a dit un peu ce qu'ils étaient et ce qu'ils représentaient dans le jeu. Et vu leur présence ici, dans ce face dans ce, dans ce, dans ce, dans ce, dans ce du jeu, y a, on a tendance à croire que c'est vrai. Voilà, donc nous voilà de retour bah, du coup à la scène précédente. Hein. Ici, je peux me permettre de parler puisque, somme toute, euh, on a déjà vu tout ça. Quand l'évening est spread out against the sky, comme un patient etherized sur une table, laissez-nous aller through certaines rues half deserted streets. Les muttering retreats de restless nights in one night cheap hotels, and sawdust restaurants and oyster shops. Streets that follow like a tedious argument of insidious intent to lead you to an overwhelming question. Oh, do not ask what is it. Let us go and make our visit. Can live. Gotta admit, you cobbled together a good plan. You're in my curse and my nightmare, Johnny. But I do owe you one thing. Day to day, with Silverhand by my side, I learned to kick down barriers. Now nothing can hold me back. I can feel it. Is that so? Meaning you've made a decision about us? Want a word with Alt first? Where is the wench? Have it caught on yet, have you? <laughs> What do you mean? Alt's already split us. Once you jacked into Makoshi, she lit you up with Soul Killer. Your output don't fuck around. I am not his girlfriend. You real? You hit me with Soul Killer? Thought asking? It was the only way I could fulfill your request. Jesus fuck. I don't like the warning at least. Been a construct for just a few minutes and already no one gives a damn what you want. Welcome to the club, V. So that's really it. We're done. You kept your word. There is one aspect I failed to take into account. Alt. What? The body is a key factor in this transaction. DNA reconfiguration by the relic has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons. Chris, will you just skip to the end? 
After I transfer your construct into your body, you will die. It is inevitable. It is imminent. Fuck. You shall live for about six months. Perhaps somewhat more. No, no, no. There's gotta be something. Something we haven't thought of. Your body will see you as an intruder. But it's my body. The biochips nanites have altered it permanently. The body is now Johnny. Alt, give us a minute. V and I need to talk. Everything, all, all, all we did, it was pointless. I have had enough of this, of everything. You most of all. Perfect, because we're sticking to the plan. I'm going with all fuck knows where. You're keeping your body. Where's she even gonna take you? Beyond the Black Wolf, to become part of her. Whatever the hell that means. Is there really no other way? As I said, Johnny can retain the body, remain there, while you come with me. Guess I mean... I don't know, uh, a happier ending for everyone involved. Here? For folks like us? Wrong city. Wrong people. He had the right to make a choice you have earned, through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. What I told you with the Pisti Sophia. We stick to that. I'll go. You stay. Turn in your back on the problem again? Creeps in, and that's that. You give up? Stop. Just stop. <laughs> Gonna just roll over instead of fighting for what's yours? Decommiss yourself because you're too fucking scared to say goodbye? It's my decision. Let me make it. Loyal, grant you that. But damn it, are you dense? Haven't changed a bit since we met. I'm so damn tired, Johnny. I just want to start anew, even if I don't know what that means. I bet it'd be good for you, too. V, I'm just. I'm just scared for. See you around, Johnny.
think I'll ever get used to this. Votre commande est prête a été retirée. Veuillez finaliser la transaction dans les 24 heures où elle sera annulée. Ce message va être généré automatiquement. Merci de ne pas y répondre. But I'm all right with that. Got a bit of time. Think I'll manage to swing by and visit you. Gonna need a ride. Steve. Gotta talk to Steve. Because I got that new album from Curse These Metal Hands. First four tracks? Preen genius. Bet you didn't get that shiner all by yourself. Um. Old man? Yeah. Forgot to wake him up. He was late getting to work. I mean, guess I kind of deserved it. You forgot. Uh, it happens. Uh, no reason to hit you. Hmm. What about you? What's up? Been practicing those chord progressions? <sighs> yeah, but I keep botching them. Doubt I'll ever play it smooth. You know, you don't have to be the next Linda Oz. I don't? No. Nope. Gotta hit the right notes, mostly. But also gotta play from the heart. Folks want feeling in their music. Wanted to say something. Couldn't care less about technique. Been working on another song. Wanna hear it? Later, maybe. Kinda in a hurry now. Need wheels and a good driver for the day. Couple things in town I gotta take care of. No problem. I'll take you. My mom wigs out when I don't tell her I'm leaving. But it's not like she can hear me when I try to warn her. You ready? Hey, so when I play a lot, my fingers hurt. What do I do to stop them? You don't. Metal strings cut into your fingertips make them sore. Just how it is. Oh. Don't worry. Play long enough and you'll get calluses. Start hitting What do you think you're doing, you little shit? Going out. Where? Uh, just out for a sec. Be back soon. Back inside, now! I'm not about to let you go out, do who knows what, you hear? Oh, fuck's sake, you swipe my keys again? Inside! Now, you shit! What the fuck hey, you- Hey, relax. Why so tense? Steve's helping me out. He'll be back in two hours, tops. Two. I decide when the punk comes, goes, what he does, not you. He won't come back empty-handed. Two hours. And you hand me those eddies as soon as you come through the door. All right, Dad. Who the hell's that? Who the fuck knows? Another tramp? All look the same to me. 
Probably a yapper. Goddamn Don't have to pay me, you know. Shaking in I know. Shorts. But dear dad doesn't want those eggs. Steve started talking to sure he is. Now he but I know how to cobble some together myself. Hop in. Whip that boy in line. Where are you gonna get the scratch? Promise you won't tell? Merc's on her. Mrs. Juarez pays me to clean her place, but I don't gotta do anything. It's already clean. Think she's lonely. Just wants someone to talk to. Could very well be true. Where to? Time machine. Nice! Saw Carrie Uridine there once. You a fan? Of the legend? Of course I am! Why? Aren't you? Carrie's all right. Heard something on the radio about Carrie using Silverhand's death, writing that to fame. Can't do much about media vultures. Got shit for brains. Especially the ones who cover music. Carrie's a damn good musician. That's all that counts. The real deal always has been. In every way. God, makes it sound like you know him. Cause I do. I'm gonna be a musician someday too. Don't forget, it's not the easiest gig. Yeah, yeah, I know. Gotta work hard, practice. To start, sure. But it only gets harder after that. The critics, the haters, non-stop pressure. That shit crazy lifestyle. It can chew you up. Gotta start scribing songs then. You'll get good with practice, like anything else worth doing. Sooner you start, the better. Got a few tunes in my head already. Prem. Lyrics don't come easy though. I come up with anything. Seems like it's already been done or it just sounds stupid. Kinda don't really know what to write about. Be honest. Only ever write the truth. Especially when it comes to your feelings. I don't get how I can lie about my feelings. Don't write love songs if you're not head over heels. Don't write sad sack shit just because you think there's beauty in sadness. Um, uh, okay. When something really hits you in the gut, that's when you sit down and write. Truth's elusive. Sometimes music's the only way to grasp it. We have arrived. Preem. Hang here a minute. Nah, I'm coming in. Flip through the new releases. What can I do for you? Probably nothing new, but we'll see. Heard Carrie Uridine pops by once in a while. Best music story in Night City. Everybody pops by occasionally. Know why else they come? No, but 
Got a feeling I'm about to find out. I don't snoop on customers. Don't keep no record. And I don't run my mouth. So, how can I help you? Looking for a six-string electric. Feast your eyes. I want something solid and true. What, and they're not? Most important things, the pickups. Guitar's gotta have something decent there. Don't give half a fuck how it looks. Okay. Rattle on the low E, cause the next bowed. Nothing a screwdriver won't fix. Cheap clunkers made out of shit plywood that itself was made out of unseasoned veneers. Still playable. Just gotta know how. No offense, but I'm looking for a real instrument. And willing to pay real money. Ah, should have said so. Come on, let's go out back. I'm coming too. Sure, you might learn something. How's this? Whoa! To the right awesome. and left, the latest chromatics and Hendersons. Vintage axes in the back. To lose Orpheon. Not a fake. Take a good look. Relax, just making sure. Looks authentic, well maintained. Must be around, shit, 70? 90 and still going strong. Fretboard's pure organic ebony. Tensor Paradise. This a replica? Real as you or me. Gotta be over a hundred years old. Double humbucker, neck screwed in, not glued. A beauty. Classic. Perfectly balanced, too. Barely needs holding. Wanna try this one? Be my guess. I'ma let you two play around in here alone. Else those savages out front will clean out half the store. Anyone play Silverhand like that? You know, I read he never took any lessons. Chum was totally self-taught, made up his own style. How do you do that? I mean, sound just like him. Good ear, kid. No, no one, one can, can imitate, imitate Silverhand's style. But you did. I just heard you. Obviously, Obviously got a bit of him in me, or a lot. Maybe, Maybe I, I am, am Johnny. But... how? Johnny'd be like 80 million years old, and you're like, way too young. Plus, you're a girl. You know, this is just a body, how the dice landed for me. Not gonna be a girl much longer, though. Ha! <laughs> yeah, right, Chum. Better try a little harder next time. Still haven't explained how you do it. Don't worry about that, just... Come up with your own style, and all you need for that is practice. And talent. Talent you got. Really? You think so? I just don't say things I don't think are true. Not anymore. Best day ever. Fuck! My hands are shaking. Rockers are rebels. They always speak their minds. Tried once with my dad, you know. Didn't go so well. In time, you'll learn who you really are. 
What do you really want from the world? I don't understand. Want to be a real rebel? Gotta be yourself first. Be authentic. Rebels are made, not born. Made from the punches life throws at them. The punches they take. You know, you're weird. But I like you anyway. Huh. You're all right, kid. Gonna play some more? Nah, short on time. Let's pay. Delta out of here. I'll and take it. Excellent choice. Glad to see she'll be in, uh, in good hands. Help you with anything else? No, no. thanks. Here you go. See ya. Let's Delta. Still got some biz to take care of. All right. Sure thing. Where to? The cemetery. You got it. Dad says there's gonna be another Cope War. Liable to jump at each other's throats any day now. Think it's true? Think there'll be another war? Asking the wrong guy. Got no interest in the topic. Couldn't care less, to be honest. Know why? Why? Because I realized I don't have to. Got a friend who lives around here. Where? Can't see it from here. Just saying. He a good friend of yours? Invited me over to his house once. His mom made lunch. Then we went and hung out on the bridge. I like driving through here. It's nice. City looks alive. Um, because everyone's out walking around? Not what I mean. It's like we created a monster and never even noticed when it started to eat us alive. <laughs> like Frankenstein? Frankenstein's monster, you mean. Know what? You're right. It is nice out here. Never been out this way? No, I have. Just never noticed. Never had time to just sit down and watch. City slipped through my fingers. Just sped right by. Passed underfoot, overhead. I can't even say when it happened. Gonna write a song about it? Maybe. Nice pendant. Looks good on you. Just a keepsake. Oh. Uh, belong to someone important? Yeah. Someone really important. What are you gonna do with it? Put it back where it belongs.
Can I come with? No, wait here, okay? Won't be long. Okay. Could have had the guts to make a call like that. Not a soul. Can't carry this around anymore, you know. Can't keep wallowing. Can't keep obsessing over what happened. Couldn't forget you anyway. I'm wearing your goddamn face. Thanks for... <laughs> well, for everything. now and I don't plan to waste it so this is goodbye To now. Hey, hey, hey what's, what's this? this? Want one? Gave all that up. So should you. Bad for your body. Bad for your soul. Where to now? Hmm. I got a bus to catch. The person you just, uh, visited, he died a while ago? She. And not that long ago. You miss her? A little, yeah. When my grandpa died, I missed him a lot. But now I only miss him sometimes. Mm.
a free bird and all, and you're gonna do what you want, when you want. But you could at least let me know you're alive, you know? I, I don't want to say anything, but you missed your last checkup. And like I told you a million times, uh, just call when you can, okay? See ya. Dejate de pendejadas. Straight to voicemail again? What's going on with you, eh? Lose your tongue or what? Okay, what was I going to do? Ah, si, sí, claro. But no, I wanted to tell you I... I'm cooking a supper on Sunday. For Jackie's birthday. All his favorite food. <laughs> Chilaquiles. Tamales. If I could get some real corn. Uy, maybe even a lote. <laughs> It'd be nice if you could come over. Think about it. Cuídate, amorcito. Take care, love. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Fuck. Me. I, I don't know where we went wrong. Maybe uh, something happened or you needed to lay low. If you can, just give me some kind of signal that that you're alive and everything's okay. Please. If you ever need help, you know I'm here for you, right? Always. Stay safe. Call me when you hear this. V. Hey. Christ, that run we did. My heart's still pounding. A pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, 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 I mean, the odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now and what your plans are. Just remember, we'd walk through hell and back with you anytime, sister. Until next time, eh? Take care. Got your message. Johnny, look, I've been around long enough to know that anything is possible in your fucked up world. But I never imagined this, even from you. You must have made a pretty big impression on V for getting her on board with this, so hats off. I'm just wondering how you feel about that, Johnny. Having another person give their life for you. Especially when you're probably just back to all-nighters and cheap tequila, laughing at how stupid she was. Or has your conscience finally learned its lesson? That is, if you've even got one. Good luck out there, Johnny. And don't ever come back to Night City. B, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, well, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. This city needs more people like you. I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Hey, it's Perales. V, you're gonna wanna hear this. But first, you need to go somewhere no one's listening. Okay, so my wife, Elizabeth, she's in on the whole thing. She, she keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these pills. Says they're vitamins. Got them analyzed at a lab. And they look okay. But, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? Well, well, when, when you got a sec, call me, okay? Oh yeah, and don't forget to delete this message. Hey V, sorry to bother you. I know you're a busy woman and everything. Well, I was wondering how you were doing, so I laid out a quick tarot and... Oh dear. The hanged man. The 
magician. The star. Those... those are not good cards, V. They're really bad. They're something like death, but... not quite. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll... I hope to hear from you soon. Et voilà. On va donc euh, couper le générique. Donc là, clairement, ce qu'on a vu, bah, c'est une fin nettement moins joyeuse que la première. Donc quelque part, un bad ending si on veut. Enfin, en partie. C'est mauvais sans l'être totalement. Mais dans tous les cas, ça reste comme une fin bien écrite et bien foutue, je trouve, dans tous les cas. Euh, ça reste encore cohérent comme fin. Encore une fois. Bon, par contre, j'ai pas l'impression que cette fin-là offre un équipement différent de celui-là. Non, effectivement. Donc, dans les faits, on s'en fout en changeant la partie précédente. Hop Ouais, ici ça n'a pas beaucoup d'intérêt du coup de garder cette partie là. Donc je vais recharger la partie. Donc là on est sur les sauvegardes auto, sauvegarde manuelle, je sais pas où elles sont. Par contre elles tombent de plus en plus bas forcément. Donc je vais charger celle là. Histoire de voir qu'on a bien la bonne. Enfin voilà, du coup on a fait les deux fins possibles avec ce choix nomade, euh, dont une qui pour moi est vraiment très sympathique, la deuxième est cohérente, mais me plaît moins, à moi personnellement, c'est mon ressenti. Mais en tout cas voilà, c'était donc Kenzal pour la seconde fin du choix nomade. Ces vidéos sont toujours réalisées en hommage de mon papa qui est malheureusement décidé, décédé au suite des, euh, de la situation de Covid. Je pense que c'est un joli hommage, puisqu'en gros on arrive quand même en gros à 80 heures de vidéo. Euh, je ferai probablement une autre fin demain, euh, encore une fois j'imagine avec deux choix alternatifs. Et puis après bah, je cesserai de publier des vidéos sur Cyberpunk pendant un petit moment, puisque grosso modo bah, je devrais attendre les pages de 1 et de 2 je vais partir en vacances en France près de ma, ma belle famille, avec ma compagne. Donc voilà, je vous dis en tout cas à demain, je vous souhaite une bonne soirée pour ceux qui continuent à jouer, enfin une bonne matinée même vu l'heure, une bonne nuit à ceux qui vont dormir, de beaux rêves à ceux qui dorment déjà. Et bon courage à ceux qui travaillent encore demain. Voilà, voilà. Une bonne soirée à tous. Amusez-vous bien. Bon jeu. Et profitez de la vie. Et prenez soin de vous surtout. surtout. Prenez soin de vous surtout. Parce que vu la situation actuelle, il vaut mieux. Voilà. Courage à tous. Salut, salut.